Hey everybody! So, as we already talked about, we are going to be drawing a train or a steam locomotive. So when you think of a steam locomotive, we talked about some of the parts in our, our Google Slides, but we're going to be drawing it by using simple shapes. So we're going to use rectangles, circles, straight lines, diagonal lines, some triangles. It should be a very simple process to build a train step by step. So you want to start with your paper horizontal, pencil, paper, sharpie, whatever you have. And we're going to begin by drawing our engine. So I want you to think about where your engine is going to go. If you draw it in the middle, you might only have room for one half of a car. If you draw your engine towards this side of your paper a little smaller, you could add a whole bunch of cars and show your whole train. So I'm going to start in the middle so I can have at least one car. So the first shape we're going to start with is a rectangle, and we're going to do it vertically. So I'm going to draw a vertical rectangle in the middle of my paper. Now, if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. Or if you have a book nearby, you can use a book to get straight lines. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm just going to use my own hand, and if it's a little wobbly, I'm all right with that. So after we draw our vertical rectangle, we're going to draw another rectangle for a window. And we're putting this in the cab. This will be the cab of our train. Now we're going to draw the roof of our cab. So on the top line, I want you to draw two short lines that come out horizontally. Next, I want you to draw two diagonal lines pointing upward. One two. We're then going to connect it with a straight line and we made a trapezoid. Now we're going to move to the boiler and the main engine part of our train. So right here in about the middle of your cab, I'm going to draw a line. Right here on the bottom of my cab, I'm going to draw another short line. I'm going to drag this one on the bottom out I'm going to stop short of the end of my paper because I have some stuff I'm going to add out here. Then I'm going to take this line and I'm going to go not quite to the end. I'm going to stop short. So you can see where I end it that is not all the way to this point. After we do this, we're going to draw the chimney. So the chimney is this part of your steam engine. So right on this line where we end it short, I want you to draw a diagonal line again that comes up. So that's going this way. Then you're going to move a little bit over and I want you to draw another diagonal line going the opposite way. Almost like an invisible triangles there. And then we're going to draw a horizontal line across. And I want you to make a small rectangle on the top. And that is our chimney. So now we're going to finish the front part of our train and right where in the end of this chimney I want you to draw a small kind of flat rainbow line or a curved line that connects it to that bottom line. After we do that we're going to draw the cow catcher. So the cow catcher is this part of your train that's supposed to kind of plow in front of the railroad and make sure nothing's in front of them. So right here where that curved line met that bottom line, I want you to draw a straight line that goes down to right about there. If it's shorter or longer, that's okay. And then I want you to draw a line that shoots out like an L. And you probably guessed it. We're going to connect it with a straight line and we made a right triangle. After this, we're going to add our wheels. Now, if you want to imagine there's an invisible line that lines up with that cow catcher, that's kind of where we want to put the bottom of our wheels. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four wheels. So I'm going to draw four dots to make sure I have enough room for my wheels. So here, I'm going to draw my first wheel. So I'm going to do a circle, but I'm going to draw the circle so part of it's hidden up here. 
there's one. I'm going to do the same thing for the second wheel. Two. And notice they're a little different. I'm not worried about it. It's okay. Three. And for my last wheel, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to overlap on top of the cab. So four wheels. I'm going to erase that line. And we're definitely getting a train now. So at this point, the lat, one of the other big things I want to draw is I want to draw the car coming off the back of my train. So back here, I'm going to draw a little box. A little box, square. I'm going to draw a little tiny rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a very large rectangle that's connecting to this train. You can draw some wheels, and I'm going to overlap my wheels. One, two, three. So, we have a train. Now comes to the point where we can add details. So think about what details you might be able to add. That might be adding spokes to our wheels. So watch. If you would do what looks like sunbursts on your wheels, it makes them look like spokes or like rims that you would see on a car. You can add lines to your cow catcher. And these are all things that I'm looking right at this train and you can see those details are on these trains. You can also add a square under your window and add a number. My favorite number is eight. You can draw a line on the front of your train that separates that little circle or that rainbow line. You can draw a light on the end. We could also add, you draw a horizontal line across the middle of the boiler. You could add some small circles to make it look like rivets that's holding the metal together. And we can also add those bars that connect the wheels. So watch, if you wanna do this, you can draw a long, thin rectangle to connect that bar or those wheels. And if you really want to make it look like a cool steam engine, you can draw a triangle or an upside down V to connect that second wheel to this fourth wheel. And from this point, it's really just all other details. You can add the two there are these two pieces on the boiler, like this. You can draw them round or rectangular. We can add steam coming out of the engine. We could draw the rails that it's riding on. We can give it a name. The Banana Express. You could draw animals in the back. I could draw a big thing full of bananas. You could make it the coal car. There's so many more details we can add. You could add a sky, you could add mountains, you could add a background. So think about what else you can add, but this is our general train and we drew a steam locomotive. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you add lots of details and let's talk about color.